Hello. In this video, we're going to do something a little fun with QImage. We'll do something that's beyond the normal putting prints on a page and printing it out. We're going to do a photo card. And I'm going to go through this kind of quickly because I like to keep my videos under 10 minutes, but you can pause or slow it down anytime you like to see what I'm doing. I'm going to start making this card by First of all, I've set up a 4x6 borderless page size here because I'm going to make 4x6 cards. I'm going to start by selecting the main print that I want on the card. Right click, hold, select 2x3 as the size. And that's one of the prints I want and I want to put two more on that page. Now, on photo cards, a white background is kind of bland, so I'm going to go down here to Page Background Color. I'm going to select a nice yellow for this card. That looks pretty good. And now from this point forward, I'm going to use the Page Editor because you get really full control over what you're doing in the Page Editor. I have something in mind for this card, and I really want this one to be a landscape print. So with this selected, I'm going to come over here to the Cropping tab and click this Rotate checkbox. And that actually rotates the crop to make a landscape print out of a portrait print. Move it to where I want. I've got the right cropping here, but I also need to rotate this. So I'll right click, rotate right, and now I've got this set up the way that I want it. On this print, I think I'm going to put uh, some borders on here to spice up the card a little bit. With that print selected, I'm going to go over here and choose a color, click, pick with dropper. I'm going to click on here to get that color border. And I'm going to say a size of a tenth of an inch. That's just arbitrary. You can use whatever you want. I'm sure that my son will not be happy to be surrounded by only pink. So I'm going to choose a second border. Click here on the color, pick with dropper. This time I'm going to select his shirt as the color, and I'll enter the same tenth of an inch. Now I've got two borders surrounding that. That looks pretty good. I actually want to click and drag. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because it is a photo card. We're free to do whatever we want. Move that over to the side for a little creative room here on the left. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that in a minute. And Put a border on here too. Let's give them all borders. Click here. Again, I'm going to click the color. Pick with dropper. I'm going to choose the same pink up here so we're consistent. Same border size, tenth of an inch. That gets my border on this print. Click here. <clears throat> click on the border color. Pick with dropper again. I'm going to pick the same blue up here. Again, so we're consistent. I'm going to enter a tenth of an inch as the size of the border, and the border pops up. Now this is starting to get to be a uh, pretty good card here. I'm going to shrink these uh, prints down a little bit. I know this is three inches across, so I'm going to select this print, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to make it half of that. Inch and a half. Apply that to the selected print. This one gets smaller. I'm going to take this. And do the same thing. Click it. Change the horizontal size to 1.5. Apply that to the selected print. And I don't really like the crop on this so much, so I'm going to select this print. Click on the cropping tab and move it over a little bit. That looks better. I can even zoom in a little to get rid of that space on the top. Go up a little. I like that better. Now. As in the precision placement video, I'm going to use the control right arrow. And that aligns the print with the next edge that it finds. Click this one, control right arrow, it aligns it with this. And let's actually move this up a little bit. Control up arrow, that gets everything aligned. Now the card's looking pretty good, but I need to add some text. So I'm going to go here, click on this floating text button, and click about where I want the text. And this box comes up where I can enter anything I want. So I'm going to enter Happy Easter 2011. And 
and the color I'm going to click, pick with Jopper, and I'll pick this color. Font size, I'll pick 24 for something a little bigger. And I also want to rotate this minus 90 so that this will rotate counterclockwise, and you'll see why in a second. When I click OK, it appears right here. I can click on this little dot, click and drag, and move this to where I want it. But even easier than that, let me right click on this dot and click center. And that will center the text this way. I can still move it up and down, or in this case left and right, to align it the way I want it. One more floating text. Click. Click down here. And I'm going to back over all of this and say from Madison and Garrett. And I don't need this negative 90 rotation anymore because I want it to appear straight across. The color is fine, but I want a little smaller font. So I'll take 12 here as the font and OK. And that puts my text down here. And again, you click and drag on that green dot to move this wherever you'd like. And uh, you can center it and do anything you want with it from there. Uh, that's pretty much it. I've quickly created a holiday card here that I can send out. I'm going to click Done. And that gets you back to the main window. Here you can even replace photos after you've saved them. You can save this job to recall at a later time. And you can even replace a photo. Let's say I wanted to replace this photo up here. All I have to do is click on it and then we go to the queue and we see what position in line this print is. We just take another print and drag it here and drop it in that place in line. And you see that the top picture got replaced. The borders are still there, the position is still there, the size is still there, everything's still there, but you can just replace the photos whenever you want, just by highlighting first, and that shows you where you need to drop it in the queue, and you take the image that you want, drag it, and drop it there, and it's replaced. That ends the demonstration on how to create a holiday card. I hope you can create your own holiday cards, save them, recall them, and use QImage to quickly produce the type of holiday cards that you want. Thanks for watching.